so the next slide here the need for stand, standard standardization in aerospace sector the need for standardization in aerospace sector the global aerospace industry is one of the most reserved industries in the world with the responsibility of carrying millions of people around the world and transporting cargo across the globe there is a need this industry to be highly regulated and this cannot be achieved without having a strong quality management standard in place so the as 9100 uh, standard the as 9100 <clears throat> serve as a primary q4 quality m4 management as for system qms standard for the aerospace industry it was released by the european association of safety engineers and the society of automotive engineers in october 1999 the major components of as 9100 are taken from iso 9001 while the additional requirements concerning quality and safety are also incorporated <clears throat> before as 9000 before as 9100 the united states military used to having the following two specifications the milq 9858a quality program requirements and second is mil dash i dash four five two zero eight a military specification space inspection system requirements however the latest adoption of the iso 9001 by the u.s government lead to withdrawal of these specifications the next is aerospace industry and their journey with iso 9001 the adoption of 9, ISO 9001 by the US government lead large aerospace companies to direct their supplier, suppliers in developing their quality management programs according to ISO 9001. However, these, program, uh, these suppliers found 9000, ISO 9001 which was 1900, uh, 1940 to be different, sorry, deficient. In fulfilling the requirements of their major customers such as department of defense fass nasa general aircraft uh, engines north uh, north northrop uh, grumman and boeing etc others this phenomenon uh, caused these suppliers to develop AS 9000, a quality management standard that was based on ISO 9001 and was specifically des designed for the aerospace industry. The creation of AS 9000 allowed aerospace companies to adopt a quality, uh, uh, adopt a unified quality standard against which showing com uh, compliance was particularly easy. So the transitioning transitioning from as 9000 to as 9001 with the creation of as 9000 a lot of immediate problems concerning the aerospace sector were resolved however the global uh, presence of uh, original equipment manufacturers oems uh, means that in future a worldwide implementation of this standard would be required as 9100 1999 this thought resulted this uh, this thought uh, resulted in the creation of as 9100 like uh, it's a procedure it was also based on iso 9001 and uh, 1900 uh, 40, uh, 1940 uh, 94 however it also uh, included 55 uh, implications and requirements specific to the aerospace industry 
also the aerospace associations of each country published in separately thus complying with the aviation norms within their own respective judicions uh, revisions in AS 9001 following the years after it release AS 9100 underwent some major revisions the resulting uh, revised uh, versions are as following AS 9100 revision A is in 2001 AS 9100 revision B is in 2004 AS 9100 revision C is 2009 Navigating the revisions AS 9001A and AS 9001B. So AS 9001A in 2001, the two in 2001 revision of AS 9001 was in conjunction with the revision of ISO 9001's release in its published revision for 2001 and ISO 9001 comprised two sections first is the section is it's a defined and updated model of quality management system in line with the updated iso 9001 in 2001 version section second it defines a legacy model in line with iso 9001 in uh, 1994 so AS 9001B in 2004, after the passages of the transitions period of 1994 and 2000, the AS 9001B was released in 2004. This standard served as an administrative revision and it is lead to the deletion deletion of section 2 from AS 9001A. So the AS 9001C revision, the major revision for transitioning from AS 9001B to AS 9001C were the frequent deliveries of non-confirming product by the supplier with AS 9001A or the AS 9001B certifications and second is frequent late deliveries made by the organization with AS 9001A or AS 9001B certifications while those suppliers and organizations had documented control in compliance with AS 9001A or AS 9001B they, they lacked sufficient processes to ensure whether these controls were effective to mitigate this AS 9001C was introduced. Moreover, AS 9001A C also elevated the risk management requirements and made risk management an essential and integrated part of the standard. A comprehensive list of major changes made between AS 9001B and AS 9001C is also given on the next page. The major changes between AS 9001B and AS 9001C. A list of the major changes between AS 9001 and AS 9001C are given below. It showed it should be noted that these elements were not present in AS 9001B. List of changes introduced in AS 9001C. Special requirements and critical item were introduced second special emphasis was placed on risk management uh, requirements to me measure requirements confirmance and delivery performance were introduced and requ requiring corrective actions were eliminated apart from this as 9001c also directed the adoption of proven product development processes equipped with these changes as 9001c was released in january 2009 as 9001d as 9001d was released on the 
20th of September 2016 it introduced the key changes show in the in graphics here first is addition of uh, product safety as a new clause second the addition of counterfeit part prevention in the new clause third is individual awareness and contribution to product service quality safety and ethical behavior fourth is addition of human factors with consideration to corrective action and non conformity management and last fifth is the clarified and improved configuration management to address stakeholder needs s 9001d is the updated version of as 9001c it includes the complex complete text from as 9001 and 2015 standard and this means that the requirement concerning aviation defense and space have been aligned with iso 9001-2015 apart from the changes mentioned above is now as 9001d also include the risk clause merged with iso 9001 moreover it also increased its emphasis on risk in operational procedures